Okay, everybody, welcome. Kevin here, of course, and I've got a couple things for you today. Some uh, widely varying activities, exercises that you can do. Again, what are we doing? We're building our technique. We want to leave no stone unturned, especially when you feel like you're not getting around on your base. Right? You feel like you're not doing that well. You need this thing. You need that thing, the other thing. Okay. Well, 16th is probably one of those things, one of the topic uh, 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 topics of today. And then the other thing I'm going to tell you right now, that's definitely something that you're going to enjoy. Stick around. So let's work on that very first thing. So what is that? It's really just an octave. And I call this, by the way, some of you I know will remember this. I call this the octave grip. G, D, G. So you're in the third position right off the, uh, uh, the third fret, G, uh, G, D, G. Play it with the uh, first finger, ring finger, uh, first finger, ring finger, pinky. And it's going to feel kind of weird to a lot of people. I know it will. But the fingertip control in this instance is a great thing to have. It'll actually give you more space to play things well and get the type of tone that you want. But then on top, what do you have? You just have a couple of scale tones. One, two, three, G, A, B. So A, B, A, G, D. Try C notes, you know, G, D, G, A, B, A, G, D. If you could do that through all the keys, C, G, C, D, E, D, C, G, right? Right? Right. That's a great skill, and I always promote that. You really should start saying names for the things that you're learning, even just for a few minutes uh, for your practice sessions. So, but what is the value here? Look what's happening. And forget my low B string here. This is a five string. But you're playing all strings up and back couple extra notes on top. E, A, D, G, 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 D, A, E. In other words, the string. You're playing all four strings in back. Really nice thing. And, you know, when we play the octaves, the thing is to skip a string, you know, and play up to the octave. Just like... Right. So that's a skill as well. Right. In itself is learning how to skip strings. And you cannot take it for granted. And I will one day I will fess up. I promise I uh, uh, I took it for granted and I got my arse handed to me on a James Brown tune, you know. So that that's a story for another time. I'm not ready to admit it. Um, <laughs> but uh, so. That is a really sweet uh, sound. It's an open sound. It's not cluttered. And when you play something based on that, say a bass line, again, it has that folksy sound. Uh, uh, you, you're you allowing all sorts of other things to occupy that territory. You know, you don't... Right? You know, that almost sounds like film score, the sound to me. You know, you're not putting in all these altered sounds or whatever. You're playing the octave with some sweet, neutral stuff in addition. You can't beat that, especially with the skill that you're going to gather from going up and down on the fingerboard, you know, or across the finger. So now with the octaves, and I think I was playing them at about here. Uh, well, think of it this way. Play four off the root, the G, and then you hit the G again, and then do the chromatic thing. One, two, three, four, one. 
Of course, I did this. I reversed it. And then uh, I, I shot for the moon there, and I went all the way. So you can do that. I mean, there's nothing stopping you, guaranteed, even if you went all the way to the octave. <laughs> Try that again. You could find a line there just for fun, you know. But uh, so I think of these octaves as being kind of like disco-y, but imagine all of the skill you get with the string crossing. And then we tend to play 16th note things faster. And you're going to get more skill with the uh, 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 negotiating anything in 16th is a great thing. And you're going to, I mean, you can just push it as hard as you want to push it. You know, now that's not a particularly musical sound, but... Once you start uh, 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 playing other things, just like standard, you know. Play, and it just play flat. Again, it's not particularly musical at the start. But there's value in that. Because you're going to play the note as big as you can. You're going to work on that even. And then later, you're going to have... You want to be able to play uh, almost as if you were a bass player and a drummer at the same time. You want to have that rhythmic intensity uh, it just, just baked into anything that you play. And if the drummer, you know, heaven forbid, he just, just dropped dead, you'd be able to play without the drum. Of course, that is a very insensitive thing. <laughs> Don't play with a dead drummer. Uh, no, uh, pardon me. Uh, but the point is to play without a drummer and have that intensity. Just think if you can bring that level of intensity in your playing and bake it in. And every time you play, I mean, your your drummers are going to say, whoa, what got into what got into so-and-so? You know, I mean, you're going to have a lot to do in a band and you're going to be driving the rhythm section in an incredible way so working for an even uh, approach even notes thinking about first getting the skill to cross the strings and then to actually play the notes <laughs> you know just working in that manner and then work, I would say the most important thing you're going to do, if you're like most players, is instead of get that, you know, playing like a caveman, I stabbed more strings like a caveman than, than any average player. And I want you to, to think about that, to avoid that. And so you can start out. Right? To be able to have that sensitivity. And then you'll be able to turn the amp up a little bit. And you're going to notice there's a lot of energy that is freed that you're going to use to concentrate on other things in the music. Guaranteed. So do think about that. I hope you like that. I know that I did. I'll see you soon.